this time last year I was thinking about code, maybe joining um, a meetup or just looking at what's going on in the world of tech, but I wasn't really sure. I wasn't really sure what, what I wanted to do um, in terms of career-wise. I'd come from a career where I'd been working in that for six, seven years, um, you know, really unhappy or leaving those jobs unsure of what the reason was and then North Coders came up somehow and I applied and got on to the course um, with the scholarship and it's, it's been really good since then, like, I've learned so much, um, I don't know what else I can say, it's been, it's been mind blowing the whole thing, like, I don't know if you like, have found that it's changed your life a lot. Then. Yeah definitely, I mean I'd come from a position where I'd been made redundant, yeah, no. I was working in digital marketing, I wasn't really sure it was the right thing, I got made redundant and decided to turn that into an opportunity. That's when I started exploring code because I'd come across bits in that previous job. Got in touch with North Coders, wasn't sure I'd even be able to afford it and then that's when the Ernst & Young scholarship came into play. And so yeah, I really wouldn't be here in a new job, in an entirely new career without the scholarship from Ernst & Young and North Coders. So yeah, totally changed my life. Yeah, no, that's it. That, that was the game changer for me because it was when I met you. We met at a meet of the Liverpool City. It was a Liverpool girl Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember we just started talking randomly, and then you were telling me about because you just finished the bootcamp thing, hadn't you? Were you like two weeks? This was literally the my best meeting ever. Yeah, North Coders. Yeah, and you completely sold North Coders to me. And then you said to me about the scholarship, and I was just like, oh my god, that's that's my ticket into it. Like, I would never have been able to do it without it. So, like, that was for me. Yeah, and then I think it was like a few weeks later, the tweet came up from you guys to say, scholarships are available, and that's it. Signed up the next day, <laughs> yeah, done. I remember like, Peter yeah. came in to, to work and said, because Peter had been working as a growth engineer at North Coders for uh, a few weeks or maybe even a month by then. And she came running into the office saying, oh, I met someone really awesome at Liverpool Girl Geeks. Um, I think they're going to apply, I'm really excited, and then we were like watching your journey and then you got the email scholarship and we like, okay. We set this thing up on Slack where all the applications come through to us so we get the name and who they are basically. So we saw, I saw your name and I was like, oh my gosh, she's applied, she actually applied. It was amazing to see, like, you know. I mean, I think I wouldn't have joined the course like if they wouldn't give me the scholarship. It would be very difficult for me to afford six thousand pounds. So I just joined the course, and I'm here just because of the scholarship. Before I joined North Coders, like uh, I was working in India as a design engineer. Then I moved uh, to Manchester, and like uh, everything was new: country, weather, people. <laughs> everything was so new, and I wanted a change in career also. So I was looking for a change in career and. So about North Coders, then I, I even saw like they were giving some uh, women in tech scholarships. And I was like, okay, I need to do well. I need to do well to get the scholarship. So I just worked and I did my interview well and managed to get the scholarship. And I'll be joining ThoughtWorks in May, and I'm really happy that I got into ThoughtWorks. Um, yeah, so I'm the only front end dev of my place to work out of I think there's 12 or 13 so that was I sort of thought there'd be a couple of other women so that was a bit of a surprise but that's not to say that there aren't women working in the department there's like back-end devs and there's women doing other tech jobs but yeah it is quite odd being the only female in the front end team um, I think it's changing like there's like I said there's definitely other women there there's women in tech groups within AO so they're definitely trying to do what they can to employ more women in those roles but yeah you can see there's definitely a, a skewed split still <laughs> they need to have more women in tech companies like Goldworks and EY and you know, all these people who are really trying really hard to promote that and get women into tech and they've, they've done it because we're all in tech now so you know <laughs> kudos to them it's not just be a software developer it's be a software developer gain lots of friends learn so much more about the industry so it's been good I, I don't think I would be where I am without the scholarship so I don't think it's something that will get solved straight away. It's, it's going to take a long time. But people are doing what they need to, so you know, hopefully it won't take as long as I have it in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice to think it would be solved in five years, yeah. but exactly. <laughs> yeah, it probably takes a bit of time for people to change. Um, the fact that so many big companies are doing so much now is a really good thing. Just talking about diversity and women in tech.